In this problem, we want to determine whether each function is even, odd, or neither. So I'm going to go over my calculator. I'm going to graph it. Uh, press Y equals. I've got some statistics items set here, so I'm going to press my up arrow. Put my flashing cursor on plot 1, press enter, and go down. And then I'll do zoom and 6. Okay, that just sets it back to where it was. So ignore all that part. <laughs> okay, so we're going to press Y equals. Press clear to clear our whatever's in line. And then we want to graph X to the third. So x caret 3, and then minus 2x, and then graph. Now for our graph here, you notice um, it's definitely not even, because if I start with like uh, this piece right here, if I flip it across the y-axis, there's no part of the graph for it to land on here. Even is when it's symmetric to the y-axis. Now odd was when, is when it's symmetric to the origin. So if I start with this piece right here, if I flip it across, it'll land something like that. And then if I flip it across the y-axis, it will land on this piece. So if you flip it twice and it lands exactly on that, that's odd. So our answer to this problem is odd. Now let's, um, just for fun, you don't have to do this on homework, but um, x to the third minus 2x. Now if it's even... And this works better if you don't have your function notation. So let me put y there. To check and see if it's even, what you do is you plug negative x in for x and then see if you can get the original function. Well, we got y is equal to negative x to the third power minus 2 times negative x. Well, negative x to the third power, negative x times negative x is a positive x squared times another negative x gives you a negative x to the third. Negative 2 times negative x gives us a positive 2x. Now, there's no way I'm going to get that to look like our original function. So it's not even. Now, for the odd, what you do is you plug in negative y for the y. So this will become a negative y over here. And you plug in a negative x for the x. And then you see if you can get it to look like your original function. Well, uh, we've got negative y, and we've already said this over here is equal to this. So we've got negative x to the third plus 2x. Well, if I uh, multiply both sides by negative 1, multiply everything by negative 1, I should say. I'll go ahead and uh, multiply through. Negative 1 times negative y is y. Negative 1 times a negative x to the third is x to the third. And negative 1 times 2x gives you a negative 2x. Now notice it equals our original function, doesn't it? Um, since it equals our original function, that's why it's odd. Now if we're just using the graph, the reason why it's odd is because it's symmetric to the origin. And again, on the homework, all I care about is the graph. You don't have to do it algebraically. Um, but I wanted to show it in case uh, some of you are curious.